Hi folks, I hope you're doing well today. My name is Bonnie and welcome to my Draw With Me series. This is a series where I showcase one of my recent speed paints while hanging out with all of you. Just think of this as a little snippet of what you may get during my Twitch streams. Currently, this series is monthly, so I use this as an update on what's going on with my channel and social media content. But I ended up having to do this for both July and August as well. And be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll tell you all about my trip to Boston and Washington DC. So sit back and relax, grab some snacks, and do something with me whether it's working, studying, or even drawing your own lovely creations. I have a few updates that happened last month and are upcoming for this month. On YouTube, we just reached 300 subscribers. I am so glad you all have been so supportive of my content. This is so exciting since I am only 200 subscribers away from community posts. When this happens, I want to do a celebration video where I draw your own original characters, so please stay tuned. I am hard at work with the LGBT D&D character design video, and this should be out later this month. If you are wondering about a new tutorial video, I am currently researching for my line art tutorial. This should give you insight on how I do line art from all my art pieces. Let me know what type of tutorials or topics I should talk about in the comments. I am always taking suggestions. On Twitch, we have been playing through Fire Emblem Three Houses and working on both the LGBT D&D character designs and stream graphics. Some of those stream graphics are being shown right now on this video. I'm super proud of them and you can see more in the panels on my Twitch page. If you are wondering about my Twitch schedule, you can see it pinned to my Twitter page. I always post to my Twitter for quick updates, so follow me there. I have recently hit 500 followers on Twitter, which was quite amazing and by accident. I'm excited to announce for my Steal Your Heart competition in July that my D&D DM, John, is the winner. In August, a longtime fan of this channel, Captain Horror, was my winner. Thank you so much for being huge supporters of my channel. You can see their art on my Twitch channel. Be sure to subscribe to them and give them all the love and support possible. If you want to take part in the competition, please watch my channel when I go live and interact on the channel. There are plenty of games that you can participate in to get more hearts such as Heist, Ceiling, and much more. On Patreon, I've updated my page with a $10 tier. This is a not safe for work tier where I will be posting stuff that is 18 plus in content at least once a month. I have found myself drawing some NSFW stuff lately and it's actually really good anatomy practice for me. If you want to support my content, you can register to any of the tiers on Patreon. Every little bit helps. I also have a Twitch graphics store too, and for July I made some Genshin slime sub badges, and for August I made some sub badges inspired by Yoi Mia's goldfish design. They can also be made into cute emotes for Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. You can get them for free on my $30 graphics tier if you register by the end of the month, or just buy them from my graphics store today. Now I want to share what I'm working on in this video. In July, I started to work on a little of my rebranding for my Twitch page. If you all didn't know, I am working on a VTuber. I am debating on debuting around my birthday in March, but I'm also working on new graphics for my pages now. I've decided to showcase how I worked on two chippies for my Twitch panels. I've been making more of these since my recording session, so I don't have those recorded. I was rather lazy with working on my script for this and last month, so I am so sorry about that. I sketched my pose and composition into Clip Studio Paint. Once I was happy with the pose and proportions, I started on my line art process. My canvas was at a 3000 by 3000 pixel with 72 dpi, so I was able to use about a 10 to 12 size G pen for my process. For some finer details, I used the 8 size G pen. And I used a vector layer to do the line art. The vector layer makes it easier to erase line art when needed. Once I was happy with my line art, I decided to color in my hair base. I would click on the outside of the drawing with the magic wand tool and then invert the selection. Using the gradient tool, I used my pre-selected colors and made a gradient in the selected area. I also would use the selected area and expand the area to make a black outline underneath. 
The rest of the base coloring is simple with using the fill bucket tool on the rest of the colors. Afterwards, it was time to render the chibi out. I started with the skin with making gradients and shadows. Then I worked on the eyes to make the drawing pop. I started to make shadows and highlights on the hair and clothing items. And once I was ready to polish a drawing, I colored the line art. I'm experimenting with some line art coloring, which includes coloring only the inside lines and leaving the outside black. I worked on the next one exactly like this. I'm happy with how my style has been progressing throughout the year, and I am glad to see my growth. I'm hoping that I will continue to grow as I work on my VTuber model debut. If you got this far, boop the like button and subscribe if you like the video. This helps the algorithm push my content out onto YouTube. I also share comments from my last few videos, including my Draw With Me series. If you didn't get to see the one from last month, you can look in my description or click the card on the top right corner. Now onto the comments. From Novorious X, moving the color layer, big brain. Sometimes seeing shortcuts like this, especially when you are drawing stills for YouTube are just big brain moves. I like trying to make these types of shortcuts for myself and I hope I can share more with you in the future. I'm always trying to learn how I can speed up my own process, so if you have tips, please let me know in the comments. I will read out some of those and more comments in my next Draw With Me video. So I thought it would be a very slow month until I decided it was time to go visit my boyfriend up in Boston. We've been planning this trip for a while, but we were unsure of when this would happen. On a whim, we booked our tickets and decided to do this in the middle of July when both of our schedules were extremely light. My schedule is so light that I was able to take two weeks off from my current vendor job. I first traveled to Boston to see my boyfriend and a lot of my friends up there on Friday night. I met up with him at his work and I was so happy to see him. We ended up talking until about 1am since we were both so happy. But we had other plans for the weekend, so we had to actually sleep for. It is always really busy for me in Boston since we accidentally jam-pack our schedules to be able to see everybody. However, Stanley and I were able to take some time for ourselves on Saturday and actually have a date. We went to the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston to explore the museum and help me study a little bit when it came to my art teaching exam. After walking our butts off, we went to a restaurant called Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice is one of our favorites and it's a very unique experience. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet-style restaurant where you gather up your ingredients and they will make stuff for you. They have things from noodle bowls to hamburgers and even street tacos. Both of us needed some new clothes so we ended up at Uniqlo where I bought more t-shirts and had the craziest experience with their self-checkout machine. You just put your shopping basket in the compartment and it calculates everything that you bought accurately. You didn't even have to take anything out of the bag. Honestly, it was probably the most futuristic thing I have ever seen shopping-wise. Next, I had to use the restroom, so we went across the street to Starbucks. I ended up scaring a poor druggie who was shooting up in the bathroom with my fake police voice, and we ha had to go to the TJ Maxx to use the bathroom there instead. We got a call from Stanley's bestie, and we texted another one of our friends, Miguel, to meet up with us. We went out to get some boba tea and some food before taking a long walk on the beach. We ended up finishing this walk at 2 a.m. in the morning, but we had the best time doing it. On Sunday, we ended up going out and meeting up with Miguel again in our DM John and going to see Thor Love and Thunder. It wasn't a bad movie in my opinion, but being able to hang out with my friends was worth it. We picked up Stanley Spessy again from his work and went out to an Asian restaurant next door. Stanley ended up ordering a bucket of five bottles of soju, and I ended up tipsy at the end. We went to another bar where they had karaoke, and our friend Miguel was apparently a regular there. A few of us went to a Walgreens down the street to grab some snacks and pop before returning back to the bar and going home. On Monday, it was time to take my test. However, I couldn't take it because of tech issues. It was okay though, since I was able to take some of my teaching classes while waiting on Stanley to finish work. We went out with his dad to a Chinese restaurant and then packed for our next adventure. On Tuesday, we would arrive to the airport pretty early for Washington, D.C. We arrived to our hotel early as well and grabbed something to eat to start our day. 
Stanley and I have never been to Wawa, and let's just say I was extremely excited about it. It's a lot like sheets here for me, so I was fine with navigating it, but Stanley had his mind blown. By the end of the week, the manager knew Stanley because he ended up there so much due to it being right around the corner, and he was obsessed with their Chips Ahoy milkshake. I changed clothes and we ended up at our first location, Ford's Theater. Stanley's never been to DC and it's been a while since I've went, so I thought it'd be fun to go back to a location where I liked as a kid. It was only about two blocks walking distance from our hotel, so we ended up getting to the location pretty quickly and jumping in line with tickets for the museum tour right away. Stanley really enjoyed Ford's Theater and actually told me he was happy that we did that as our first stop. I could personally tell that they've renovated both the basement areas and the building across the street from when I was younger, and they did an excellent job. If you're in DC, I still highly recommend going to Ford's Theater. With our tour of both locations being about two hours or so, we started going to the National Portrait Gallery and the American Art Museum. I've personally never been to either museum, so it was a treat for me to go. While we were there, they had a very interesting exhibit on Watergate. A lot of the portraits were those that were featured in the exhibit were in magazines such as Time, and we went through the entire museum and enjoyed the portrait gallery a lot more than the American art. We both aren't huge fans of contemporary art, so that's probably the reason why. The Hall of Presence is a very cool area though, and we recommend it if you haven't been. After doing the portrait gallery, we ended up at a restaurant near our hotel that was a traditional Japanese ikazaya. The food was pretty good, but we can definitely tell the wait staff needed more assistance. Our waitress was fantastic though, and we would definitely recommend the place. I wanted to get up pretty early to get some tickets for our next museum, so we went to sleep pretty early on that Tuesday. On Wednesday, I would wake up early and nab tickets for the African American History Museum, which was totally worth it. I decided to get tickets for 11 a.m., so we were able to take our time getting to the museum. We would look up places to eat near the museum and we found this really cool cafe, the metro stop before the stop that we should get off at. The cafe was called Tim Gad Cafe and it had small bites and North African cuisine. If you all don't know, I did a project in college that was about the city of Tim Gad in Algeria. I made buildings using SketchUp that no longer exist. We had no idea what to expect from this cafe, but the food was awesome. If you want a breakfast sandwich, definitely get there early. Their sandwiches are really good and their pastries are delicious. The staff is also fantastic. Shout outs to the owner and the girl at the register. You are our real MVPs. We had some time to kill after our breakfast run, so we walked to the Washington Monument. We needed tickets to go to the top, so we just decided to walk around and see the reflecting pool in the Capitol building. Stanley and I agreed that next time when we come to DC, that we're going to be renting electric scooters and electric bikes. We didn't get to do the monuments due to it being extremely hot when we went, but we did get a bit of walking in otherwise. They let us in 30 minutes early into the museum, which may have been a good thing for us. We spent all day at this museum. Starting from the top, we work our way down to the bottom of the museum. The African American History Museum is massive, but also one of the best museum experiences we have had during our time in DC. The pop culture and the sports history sections are worth it and amazing, and we had no idea that the bottom floor were actually three floors in one. We were also very shocked about how much stuff about Haiti was in the museum. My boyfriend is Haitian American, and he told me after the museum that he was so happy to find a place that actually included him and his heritage. I also found artifacts from my own family friends in there too. We didn't end up eating at the restaurant there, but I think we would be more than happy to try again next time. It was so late when we got out that the restaurant was closed when we were about to leave, but the good news was that about 20 or so food trucks were outside waiting. We got ourselves some ice cream and boba and thought about where we should go for dinner. We ended up at an Italian restaurant across the street from our hotel and it was fabulous. Stanley got me to try fried artichokes, 
while I got him to try Prosecco for the first time. After being almost eaten alive by mosquitoes outside, we crashed for the night. On Thursday, we played it by ear and ended up going to the American History Museum. It was one of my favorites when I was younger, but I could tell the museum was outdated or undergoing reservations. The pop culture area, which was one of the best parts of that museum, was closed for renovation. However, I did like the military history section quite a bit along with Stanley. We were feeling pretty worn out, so we ended up eating food from Uber Eats. On Friday, we ended up trekking to the National Zoo. It was a great time overall, but I did end up getting a heat exhaustion in the middle of the day. Food and an air-conditioned eatery did help me out a bit though. We bought so many plushies for our friends up in Boston, so I hope they enjoy the ones that we picked out. After getting cooled down, Stanley and I had a good time watching game shows on TV where he was shocked at my trivia knowledge that I just keep stored away for a rainy day. We left on Saturday where we slept in, got our last wall wall run in, and headed into the airport. Stanley left first, and my flight kept getting delayed by rain. It was delayed for so long that I had to call my parents to pick me up because Uber costs doubled from the airport to my house. I did miss them though, and it was nice for them to come and rescue me from the craziness that was happening due to the weather delays. But would we go again to DC? Heck yes. I think we may plan to do it again and soon. However, I think Savannah might be on our list very soon since I want to show Stanley where I grew up. Anyways, time to show you the final images. enjoyed watching this please like and subscribe for more videos coming soon all my socials are located in my description if you want to see more or art or hear more stories and bye for now